Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build these new swipe action introduced in iOS 15. As you can see, you can swipe on a table view cell to get one or multiple actions that's coming from the trailing side, or you can swipe from the leading side to get an action over there as well. All right, let's dive in. So we can focus just on the swipe actions. I do have a starter project. Uh, this is the SwiftUI list tutorial I have on my channel. So if you wanna build this or just grab the source code, I'll link to that in the description. But I wanted to start with this list because there's some gotchas with these swipe actions. I'm not quite sure if maybe this is because it's beta one. And I guess that's a good, good time to say uh, this is the Xcode 13 beta one just released. So this will be officially available for iOS 15 uh, in the fall. Okay, so let's talk about the syntax first. We want to put our swipe action on our cell. In our case, it's this video cell, which you can see on the right has our, our thumbnail for the video, the title, all that stuff. So we're putting our swipe action on this cell. So let's do that. The syntax here is dot swipe actions. And as you can see, we get two initializers, one for just content, that'll give us all the default behavior. And then the second one below it uh, gives us some parameters to customize, right? The parameter is the edge. That's where you do leading or trailing. That's how you determine what side the swipe uh, is coming in from. Allows full swipe. You can see the second parameter. And that lets you customize the behavior that if they do a full swipe, that will automatically trigger whatever action. You can turn that on or off. Let's just do the basic swipe actions for now. I'll hit return there. And here in the view builder for swipe actions, we just put in a button. So I'm gonna do a button uh, with multiple trailing closures uh, for the label. And then here, so here in the button, we're just gonna do the print statement because you know I, I just wanna focus on the action. I don't wanna have to write a whole bunch of logic, make this tutorial long, focusing on the swipe action. So we're gonna print delete because we're gonna put a delete button first. We're gonna do a delete button, add to favorites, and then pin because those are pretty common swipe actions. So for the label, uh, we wanna do a label and then we'll do title key. We'll do system image, right? Because we're gonna use SF symbols here. So the label we're gonna put is uh, delete. And then the system image, let's go to SF symbols. By the way, if you're not familiar with SF symbols, it's an app. I'll link to my video all about that in the description as well, not to derail us. So here you go to SF symbols. Uh, I don't know, let's do trash. See what we get here. All right, we get a couple different options. I'm gonna go with this circle fill. So right click, copy name, and that's just to uh, get that style there. So I'm gonna paste that string into there. Okay, so that's really it. You add the swipe action and then create your button. And if you just wanted text, you know, you just put a button with text. Don't worry about the label with the image. Uh, looks like I forgot my uh, good old quotation marks. That'll do it. Okay, let's run this and I'm gonna show you the gotchas now. Because if you'll notice, my cell is in a navigation link. That's gonna give us problems. And the way that I initialize my list with this initializer, I think that's gonna give us problems as well, right? So let me run this. And you can see I can try to swipe, I can't do it. And actually I end up clicking. And that makes sense, right? If you have a navigation link, swipe, you know, that's confusing for the user. Maybe they tapped when they meant to swipe or they swiped when they meant to tap. So it's understandable that you shouldn't have a navigation link. So again, I wanted to point that out as a gotcha. If you're in a navigation link, uh, you're gonna have issues. So let's get rid of our navigation link, do a command A and then a control I to just line everything up. Okay, so if we run it again, we shouldn't see these disclosure indicators on the right, even though my preview hasn't updated yet, but you see it. Uh, so now we're not in the navigation link, but it's still not working. I'm swiping, nothing's happening. So uh, again, these are some gotchas that I ran into. I wanna point this out. This one, to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's a beta issue or if it's the intended behavior. So what you have to do to get this behavior, at least when you have a custom cell and you're, you're feeding in data from an existing array, you gotta put it in a for each to get this behavior. So here I'm gonna delete this initializer, uh, open up the list there, but I'm going to do for each. And you've probably written a list this way, uh, the typical for each stuff, videos, content, uh, video in, right? You just kind of add that in there and then move your uh, video cell with your swipe action. So we'll cut that, put that in the for each. Uh, there you go. Now we'll get the swipe behavior. Uh, so if I hit play, again, these are the gotchas I wanted to point out. Not sure if that one's just a beta issue or if uh, you know you need to do that when you're using custom cells and like passing in data from an array. So now when I swipe, there you go, I get the delete. You see it's gray though, but I got the delete. And then here's the full right, full swipe, and you see delete printed out in the console down there. So cool, but let's talk about customizing the color of the button. So for this delete one, we can add a roll to our button. So if I do this, and you can see in this initializer down here, we get a roll. Well, I'm not gonna like retype the whole initializer. I'm just gonna type that one parameter, roll, and then you can see you do dot, destructive, cancel, none. We'll do destructive. So this will make it red. Now, of course, you could do dot tint, uh, dot red, that will do the same thing. However, by making it destructive, 
this will inherit the platform behavior for how destructive buttons should look. Uh, and again, that is red in most cases, but you never know. Maybe it'll change. Maybe in other localizations, it's different. Um, so if you make it destructive, it'll always be the proper you know, color for destructive. So that's gonna make it red, but before we run it again, uh, I'll show you multiple buttons, right? So we'll do Command C, Command V, paste another button here. We're not gonna worry about the destructive. We don't want it red. Uh, let's put favorite. And then instead of label being delete, we'll say favorite. And then instead of system image trash fill, let's go to SF symbols here. Uh, and we'll type in favorite. And we're sticking with this theme of the you know filled circle. So star circle fill, copy name, back to Xcode, paste it in here. And then we do wanna give this one a tint. We'll do tint dot green. And real quick before I run it to show you the multiples and then we'll go to the, the leading edge one. Uh, if I click on swipe actions, you can see, this is a good thing to learn to do with Swift UI if you're not familiar. Kind of go to the documentation and you'll see what the default values are. So here's swipe action. You can see edge horizontal edge equals trailing. That's why when we don't put this parameter in, we get it from the trailing. That's the default behavior. And then you see allows full swipe. Default behavior is true. So if you like that, because that's pretty standard, right? Coming from the trailing, allow the full swipe. That's why you can use this simple initializer for the swipe actions. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and add our leading before we test it. So these are trailing, right? I didn't add any parameters. That's the default values. Trailing allows full swipe, except when you have two of them, it won't allow the full swipe because it doesn't know which one to do. So when you have two buttons in there, again, you can't do the full swipe. But to add the leading ones, right, we need to add another swipe action modifier, right? You can't just add it into the existing swipe actions. That swipe, and then this time we will use the full initializer because we do want the edge of leading. And then we do want to not allow full swipe, false. And then we can go to our content, hit return, and then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this button just to save some time here, paste it there, and we'll say pin and... You know, call it pin. And then I already know the uh, SF symbol for that is pin.circle.fill. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to kind of figure that one out. And then the tint here, we want orange. That's the typical uh, pin color that you see in like other apps. So now when we run this, uh, we're gonna see our multiple buttons uh, coming in from the trailing, and then we'll see our pin coming in from the leading. So let's uh, you know scroll down. I'm an average software developer. There you go. You see we get uh, delete and favorite. And then if I swipe in from the leading, you see we get pin. And you see I'm trying to do the full swipe. It's not letting me do it because we made that false. And then if I tap pin, you see down there it says pin. And then if I try to do the full swipe from the right, you see I can't do the full swipe either because there's two options. It doesn't know. Even though allow full swipe is true here technically, it doesn't know what to do. There's two options. So uh, just something to keep an eye out there. Now, if you're looking to implement the latest and greatest features like these swipe actions into your app, you probably want to showcase that app in a portfolio or its very own website. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you get that iOS developer portfolio or website for your app up and running very quickly. And I always say as developers, yeah, we could build our own website, but you got to think about the opportunity cost of your time. Like it's very time consuming to build, maintain a website, right? Make sure it supports all the different browsers, all the different screen sizes from a phone to a giant iMac, right? That's very time consuming. So I recommend let Squarespace take that completely off your plate. They have all kinds of themes to help make your website look beautiful. They handle the SEO, the analytics for you. Like I said, just it's a huge load off your shoulders to not have to worry about your website so you can focus on building and improving your app. So when you're ready to start building that website, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so that's how you build the swipe actions. Go forth, put them in your app. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.